Hi there, Jamie from Time and Space here, and today I'm going to be talking about Synthgy's Ivory 2 pianos, discussing the differences between them and what styles they suit best. For the more experienced piano players, it can be a lot easier choosing a virtual piano as they know the sound they're looking for and can spot the subtle differences in tone and timbre. But for those of you who are looking to buy your first virtual piano or less experienced players, you may find it tricky distinguishing between the five products in the Ivory 2 range and trying to choose which one will suit your needs the most. So basing this video out, I need to give you a push in the right direction towards choosing your Ivory 2 piano. The Ivory 2 range currently consists of five products, with their newest release, Studio Grands, coming out just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, then the other four products are the Grand Pianos, Upright Pianos, American Concert D, and the Italian Grand. So I'll do this video in five different sections, where I talk a bit about each one and then play some demos so you can hear them in action. So we'll start off with the Grand Pianos. So this is seen as the sort of flagship product of the Ivory 2 range, as it was released along with the Ivory 2 engine, which really took sampling to a whole new level, introducing features such as Synthgy's harmonic resonance modeling, uh, half pedaling, and also offered almost double the velocity layers compared to the first engine. So this product did get a lot of attention. It consists of three acoustic Grands, the Bosendorfer 290 Imperial Grand, a Steinway Model D, and a Yamaha C7 Grand. And each of these have their own unique character and tone, and together they cover a huge range of genres that they would suit. I'm going to go ahead and load up the Bosendorfer from the program preset page here. And you'll notice I'm using the new 2.5 engine, um, which you can find out more about in my previous walkthrough video of the new Studio Grands. So the Bosendorfer is generally the most powerful of the three. Uh, it has a very full-bodied, large sound across all registers. Um, it's very natural sounding and extremely playable. Um, so I think it's really suitable for classical music, as you can get so much expression from it. Uh, let me demonstrate. Next up is the Steinway Model D. Again, a very rich tone to this piano, but I find it to be the warmest of the three, especially in the lower registers. It's perfect for anything with a more emotional and lyrical touch, uh, such as works by composers from the Romantic era. Um, and on top of that, it works really well with jazz as well. <laughs> Finally, we come to the Yamaha C7, the smallest of the three pianos in size, but certainly not smallest in sound. The Yamaha offers an exciting, bright sound and is a lot of fun to play with, uh, it has a lot of character. Use it with anything from country to rock or even pop. Take a listen. The next piano in the range we're going to look at is the Italian Grand. This is a 10 foot concert grand piano, sampled up to 18 different velocity levels and integrating comfortably into Synthogy's powerful ivory engine. For me, this piano is instant inspiration. It has a stunning tone and offers huge variety in dynamics as well as being very flexible. I've been using it for jazz, classical rock and pop and I haven't found it to lack in any of those areas. Coming in as the cheapest of the range, this is great for those of you on a budget looking for a reliable and playable piano. Next up, the upright pianos. So with this you get four different upright pianos, each with a lot of personality. Naturally they're very different to the rest of the Ivory 2 pianos, but they sit perfectly in the range, offering the same award-winning features and deeply sampled sound. The pianos you get are a modern upright, vintage upright, honky-tonk barroom upright, and attack piano. 
The modern upright is a new Yamaha U5. It has a fresh and clean sound that is very responsive and is sure to be a safe bet to use in any modern track, including pop, rock and dance music. Moving on to the vintage upright, this is a classic 1914 Hume upright that has a long ringing resonance to it which I think sounds great in higher registers, making it perfect for vintage rock or blues. Then we have the Honky Tonk Barham Upright, another classic American upright, a Packard from 1915. And this has such an unmistakable character and Honky Tonk sound, and Synthogy have managed to capture it perfectly. Take a listen. <laughs> The final piano included in upright pianos is the Tack piano. This is an early 1900s upright, very authentic sounding, very recognisable sound with the tacks installed in the hammers, and you can use this on any type of music and it will bring a new energy to the piece, uh, be it rock, pop, reggae or a ballad. <laughs> The next product in the Ivory 2 range we're going to look at is the American Concert D. This was released later on from the original three products in the range that we just looked at, and it offers an expertly sampled vintage 1951 New York Steinway Model D, recorded in Quebec. The piano received a lot of recognition and praise from world-class performers and musicians because of the phenomenal sound. The tone is a really nice balance with a deep resonant bass and clear ringing treble and mids. The natural stain of the instrument is what attracts people most as each note rings out with warm harmonics. This really is a multi drama piano. If you have an idea of the sound you're looking for, you'll most likely be able to achieve it. I'll demonstrate with some jazz. The final product in the Ivory 2 range we're going to take a quick look at is the Studio Grands. As I said, it was released just a couple of weeks ago and ships with Synthogy's new 2.5 engine. With Studio Grands, you'll receive two classic pianos, a Steinway Model B and a Bosendorfer 225. The Steinway, recorded in Power Station, New England in Connecticut, has a lot of clarity and I find it to have a more soft and mellow tone compared to all the Ivory pianos. Though having said that, it has got some weight in the lower register, which sits nicely underneath the delicate treble. This makes it perfect for modern jazz, pop and classical. Then we have the Bosendorfer 225, recorded at Firehouse Recording Studios in California. I really like the sound of this piano. It has a full bodied character and a deep resonance that sounds great in the bass. I think this is a very modern sounding piano and it will give a lot of power to a piece as an accompaniment, but it's also very strong and capable as a solo instrument. I hope this video will have given you an idea of what each of the products in Synthesis Ivory 2 range has to offer and how they can suit your needs.
All five are available to purchase from Time and Space website as downloads or as a boxed product. But for all other information, just visit our website at www.timespace.com. Thanks for watching.